Hello guys. In this video, we are going to see a term called mimicry. We often see that people imitate other people's voice and uh, they speak like some celebrities and we we term that thing as mimicry, right? So, exact thing happens in our nature too. So, which is termed as mimicry? Mimicry is nothing but it is a resemblance of one organism with any other organism or any natural object just for the purpose of like protection concealment and some other advantages for their own purpose they uh, imitate like some other organism this is termed as mimicry and it was found by a scientist called Bathys in 1862 here some organism which performs mimicry like a person who imitates the voice of a celebrity right the, that particular person person is known as a mimic and the celebrity whose voice is being mimicked and that is called as a model so those there are two things mimic and a model so there are different types of mimicry which occurs in our nature so there are two types of mimicry which is classified based on their role as well as on the view of scientists based on their roles they are classified into three types namely protective mimicry warning mimicry and aggressive mimicry and based on their scientist view of scientists they are of three types namely Mullerian mimicry, Batesian mimicry and Wasmanian mimicry. So in this video we are going to see the classification based on the role of mimicry like the protective mimicry, warning mimicry and aggressive mimicry we are discussing below. The very first type it is protective mimicry. So from the word protective mimicry we knew that the organism which mimics another organism for the purpose of protection. So the best example for that is the leaf insect philium. I think we are very familiar with this kind of insect. We often see in our garden uh, an insect which is re just resembles like a leaf. And this insect is called a philium. And uh, due to the appearance, it has veins and uh, its color and everything. It just resembles like a leaf. As it is, uh, due to this adaptation, it can be easily, it cannot be found easily by the predator, right? So, this is a kind of protective mimicry. Another one, a stick insect. This is also yet another famous example which we often see in our garden right uh, this caterpillar just look like a twig and uh, it stays with the twig whenever the predator or the bird attacks it it just stay within the leaf so that it is being protected and another example is a dead leaf butterfly kalima so kalima which is just look like uh, a dried leaf which is brown in color and uh, its wings it just fold its wings like a dead or dried leaf as you can see here um, so that uh, the bird or the predator just just think that it is just a dried leaf and particular species it's protected. Another example is stick caterpillar Selenia tetralunaria. By its name, stick caterpillar, it just resembles like a stick. Whenever the predator attacks it, it just stay erect like obliquely and like a stick so that it is being protected and uh, it is not being attacked by the predator. And as you can see. Even as cannot differentiate this this thing, right? It's just resemble like a stick. Another example, seahorse Phyllopteryx equus. So this thing just exactly look like a seaweed. It has numerous outgrowth. As you can see here, there is number of outgrowths in it and which just resemble like a seaweed. So that it is also being protected. The another kind of mimicry is a warning mimicry. Warning it is a kind of adaptation uh, here in this type there will be a mimic and a model here the mimic is palatable and non-poisonous whereas the model is poisonous and it, it is non-palatable so that the mimic takes the exactly the pattern of the model as you can see there's an example uh, here we can see two type of snakes right a scarlet king snake and an eastern coral snake here both of the snake just look similar in their banding patterns as you can see there are three colors in both of them right so here it looks exactly not exactly similar almost similar uh, they can be easily protected by the predator as the non-venomous snake or non-poisonous snake just uh, warn the others or the predator that it is poisonous so that it is being escaped okay so this is a kind of warning mimicry there is another another example like tias and uh, cobra there are two types of snakes which is snakes uh, where tias is not poisonous and cobra is highly poisonous as you all know that uh, where tias makes a hissing sound just like cobra so that it warns the predator so and it gets saved the third type is an aggressive mimicry so this is the most terrorizing one 
we here the mimic attacks the model and it feed upon the model the best example is the bee bee fly the bee fly we might have seen it which exactly look like a bee like a bee and which enter into the bee hive and it feed upon the larva of uh, honey bee uh, as it just resembles like uh, the honey bee cannot be noticed and and it uh, it feed upon that and another example is the angler fish lophius so the lophius fish it contains a fleshy uh, its dorsal fin is extended with a fleshy bait uh, it contains a bait a fluorescent light like substance so that it uh, stays in the mud or uh, something in the water and it just shakes it bait so that small fish get attracted and it is it gets more uh, like what uh, more attracted towards it and as once the fish approaches the bait it just opens its mouth like this and it catches entire fish and eat it so it is also a kind of aggressive mimicry so that's all about the mimicry hope you are hope you understood the topic uh, so thanks for watching and thank you all